I'm Rob Reporting with Joe Franklin, the head coach for track and field and cross country at the University of New Mexico, and one of his superstars, Wayne Kalati, a sophomore who just completed a national championship in the 10,000 meters at the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. And uh, it's great to be with both of you today. Uh, let me start with this, Wayne. Congratulations. Uh, what an accomplishment. How did it feel? Thank you so much. It feels great. You know, we have been waiting for this moment, so it's good to be in that position. When you're waiting for a moment like that, when you're building towards something like that, when you're anticipating and hoping for something like that, um, what's it like when it finally happens? It feels great. You know, like um, you always um, have a big goal in front of you. So like, what are you working for? So always I've been looking for that first place because I have been second, I've been third. Like always I've been close to that moment. So to get what you want is, it's, it's amazing. I feel like it's the most incredible um, movement in my life. So it's... To be honest, like the first time when I started, I did not realize that I can be a runner. So like I was just uh, in a uh, physical education class, in sport class, and I was sitting and watching. I did not know what does running means for me or what could be for the future. So I was just sitting and watching people are running and I was like, what they're doing? Like, I thought that was funny for the first time. And <laughs> I did not know that I can be more engaged to running. And this um, sport class teacher, and he was like, you need to run, what are you doing here? I was hiding to not run and he forced <laughs> me to run, literally. And I said like, wow, like I hate him so much the first time when he pushed me because I did not know it was good and important. I like him so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the first time I was like, wow, like, and he told me that, you know what? I have seen you before. I think you have the, abil the ability, you can be a best runner. And I was like, for me, I never, like dreaming before and he was like well if you don't do it i'm gonna kick it out from school <laughs> i was like wow that's not a good idea then i have to run <laughs> and i ran and i was very competitive i um, got um, second behind another boy um i was running we were running boys and girls together so he was like wow did you see now you have to go compete on other um we have zones and sub zones he sent me to sub zones and i said i give a reason and um, it doesn't matter what was the reason, it was terrible reason. And he was like, um, no, if you don't do that, like you're not gonna be um, in school anymore. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. So <laughs> that's how I started running. And I run and when I run in that rain in the sub zone, we walk like about three, four hours during the night to get into there early in the morning because there was no buses. So I was there and I was like, well, these people have been sleeping and then I was walking three hours. So I have to win this race. I get first place right. and then I get a chance to qualify for the big race, like into um, the region. And yeah, that's pretty much how I start running. What a great story. So I'd like to ask you this, Joe. When, when did Wayne first arrive on your radar as a coach recruiting? When did you first hear about her or see her and think, Hmm, maybe she'd be good for New Mexico. We were, we were very aware of her, um, like everybody was in the country, but we got an email from her coach uh, at uh, high school and said, you know, I think this would be a good fit for you, for Wayne. And that's how it all started. And we recruited her. We uh, showed her campus. Uh, I remember very vividly her Remember when you videoed me running across Lomas Avenue? On <laughs> I did. <laughs> she probably tweeted it out somewhere. Uh, but That's she, why. <laughs> why. she uh, and it's been a great fit ever since. What attracted you to Albuquerque and, and UNM? Why did so, you decide to come here? Oh, um, yeah, I think it's a, a perfect place for me. Like everything I compare with the, what I need. So I came um, to visit, the first time um, he came to visit in Virginia. Um, okay. That was the first time I met him. Yeah. So um, my coach used to tell me that we, uh, the, the Lobo have a very great um, team. Um, they won cross country in 2015. So I had heard and I was like, wow, I might need to take this chance and see how's the place. And I just decided to um, take my visit to Yenim and I, I really like it. I think uh, everything what I need is here. So that's how I'm interested. And I got a story to tell. We won't use the school, <laughs> but she calls me up 
<laughs> and tells me, hey, Joe, I've decided to go somewhere else. Okay. Well, that was a trick. Hey, so, she was well, joking. He was, he was in a group call. So. I, I was in a group call. <laughs> she goes, I'm going to go to this school, blah, 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 blah. And I was, I remember where I was, what I was doing. I was walking around a parking lot going, oh, gosh, all right. But I wished you luck. Good. Yeah. Uh, that was good. That How was long good. did you let him think that oh, you it was were probably? Going to... I think it was like. Well, 20 I, minutes. I think. <laughs> I think I probably make him sweat. That's how <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Great story. Yeah. So she's got a sense of humor too. We get that. That's excellent. Uh, wow, I love it. And then she said, "Just kidding." I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Coach Franklin, uh, when you got the final, you know, after the joke. Yeah, after the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and she's coming to UNM, um, and you thought about what she might accomplish when she was here, and she's only been here with you two seasons. I, I think she already has nine All-America selections. She's going to shatter the school record for, for total All-America selections in her career uh, before she's finished. Has she even exceeded, you know, what you thought could be accomplished at this stage? It's happened very quickly, but there's no limits to what Wayne may be able to do and well her and i won't really talk about times or anything like that but the sky is the limit you know she's she is driven um, and gifted and when you have that combination and will to win it, it it's it's a tough combination to beat and waney has when you think about it sure she's been here two years but let's put it in months She's been here less than 24 months. About 18, when you put it all together. So it's not a very long time. So if you just have little increments each year, you're getting into the realm where you're running. You have the potential to at least think about running with the best in the world. And we've had other people that have come through our program that have done that. Courtney, obviously. Uh, the second world championships. Josh Kerr, who now has the sixth fastest time in the world in the 1500. So it's something that we've been doing and doing for years, and now this is just uh, another person that has a chance to do something very special. Yeah, so she's really gonna run in the Prefontaine Classic, uh, that is usually at Oregon, but they're under construction. So it's a, a Diamond League race, which is the highest race in the world against uh, the best in the world. And there's only four college kids in the entire meet. Uh, one in the steeple, and two in the 1500, and then waiting the 3000. So she'll get a run against literally the best in the world next Sunday. I'm very excited. It's a, it's not about winning, but it's good to have an opportunity right running with this um, great runners in the world. So it gives me, um, it'll give me um, an experience that to get used to how it looks like a racing different level, and see what I can do.